In this example, we are simply evaluating summation notation, sigma notation sequences. I will do A and C by hand, and B and D, I will show you how to do it on the calculator, the TI calculator. So this means that each value, integer value, starting at 2, is put into here and added to the subsequent value until you get to 4. So substitute in, instead of i, the 2. Then we are going to add. After 2 comes 3. So 3 goes in for i. And then we're going to add 4. 4 goes in for i. And we can see that that becomes 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, So putting each integer value starting at the lower and ending at the upper. On the calculator, you have a nice feature if you go down to summation, where you can simply put in, the calculator doesn't like an i, so you just call it x. You start at 3, and you go to 4. This time, our, seek, our expression inside is 2x minus 1. And it will spit out 12 for us. Okay, another one by hand. Negative 1 is our starting point, so minus minus 1 becomes plus 1, plus 1 is 2. Next, 0 goes in, 0 plus 1. Next, 1 goes in, minus 1 plus 1. You can see the pattern here. 1, 2, because 3 minus 3 plus 1, oops, I'm sorry, that's a minus 1, that's a minus 2, sloppy, 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 minus 1, minus 2. Let's do that again. Minus 1 goes in, minus minus 1 becomes plus 1 plus 1, which is 2. 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Next comes 2, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Next comes 3. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So you can see that 2 plus 1 plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 gives 0. Last, one more on the calculator. We go to math. We go to summation notation. You start with x at 3 and go to 6. And the expression is 3 x instead of i is 46. Okay, so evaluating sigma notation without the calculator and with the calculator.